For most of human history everyone constantly smelled like a campfire. I think that's probably the best case scenario of what people smelled like for most of human history. I heard people used to just snack on onions in public to drown out the smell of body odor. Is this true? And then for about 50 years everyone smelled like cigarette smoke. It blows my mind that the chimneys weren't common in houses even of the rich until the 16th century. Everyone just had open hearths and they were smoky as shit. I grew up in a house heated by a wood stove and my room was the same room as the stove. Spent my childhood smelling like a campfire all winter. Edit my first ever gold, thank you. This has to be the best shower thought I've read in a long time. When I was in elementary school there was a kid in my class who, to me, smelled like bacon all the time. It finally dawned on me that his house was heated by an old wood stove. Grew up with wood stove first few years of my life so yeah smoke was a constant. I am a firm believer that staring at a campfire is the oldest human tradition and it's good for the soul. What's the consensus on the smell of campfire? Personally it's one of my favorite smells, but I always hear people complaining about their clothes smelling like campfire after a bonfire, so maybe that's a minority opinion. So if everyone smelled like campfire, did anyone really smell like campfire? Wasn't perfume invented for the purpose of making nasty body odors? I firmly believe that everyone before the 20th century smelled like shit all the time. In warmer areas, there would be no reason to keep a fire going 24-7. People spent much of the day out hunting, fishing, farming, or doing other work. They might smell a little bit like a campfire, but that might not be the dominant smell. A and mold and mildew and rotting meat and various kinds of poop among other things. Campfire was like the cologne on top. They also didn't have soap so campfire is probably very complimentary in terms of smell. I can't imagine clothes got washed often in cold climates either. Homo sapiens, sure, but humans in general have been around for 2 million years whereas we have no evidence that they used fire prior to at most 400,000 years ago. Finally a real shower thought. How many times I could have used this while camping etc. Until we discovered farming. Then everyone constantly smelled like manure. I bet they didn't even notice. I used to live a block from the Delaware Bay. Once a friend from the mountain stayed with me, the first morning we walked out the front door and she said wow, does it always smell like that? I had no idea what she meant. The human brain is very good at filtering out anything constant. Whenever we have a cookout, I like to deliberately walk through the smoke, holding my breath with my eyes closed, in order to get the smell on me. Best natural mosquito repellent. Also correlates with life expectancy going from 30 to 75 in recent years because of proper ventilation and fire safety. I filmed a short film around a campfire last week. I set off the fire alarm when I got home. I did laundry and took a shower and still couldn't get rid of the smell. That's when I realized it was inside my nose. My snot was now smoke scented. The smell was in my nose for two days. Unfortunately, it had rained the morning of the shoot and we had left the firewood outside by the fire pit the night before, so it was damp and there was a ton of smoke. Looked great on camera though, LMAO. Speaking of smelling like campfire smoke and showers, does anyone else find the need to take multiple showers to get rid of the smell of smoke? It's like a test to see how well you are soaping every part of your body. I don't know what body part one miss, but I often smell the smoke on my second shower after a camping trip. Even more recently most people and places smelled like cigs all the time. And yet I still get a headache every time I get the smell on me. Evolution did my genes dirty apparently. I would love that. I would love it if I could get my clothes smelling like a campfire all the time. Also campfire smells vary depending what you burn. IDK if freshness affects it too but it probably does. And BO and for most of civilization people were drunk 90 of the time. 
The smell of smoke on a woman now that is my Chanel 5 words of wisdom spoken by a guest while teaching a group of elementary school students how to make bannock. Ah, eau de toilette by John Wayne. That's a good smell that doesn't piss me off or give me a migraine. Anyone who has ever been in a deer hunter's camp knows this is true. What about smoke inhalation injury and death? That's what I wonder about. Back when people can smoke cigs in closed space, imagine how they smell. I'm sitting in front of an open wood stove every night for heat so yeah you're probably right. Was thinking about this the other day. Went camping in 22F weather so spent a fair bit of time huddled by the fire. It's been a few days, my coat still smells of winter campfire every time I put it on. We actually smelled more like shit and body odor for most of human history. And were tired because they had a bad night every night, imagine having a back pain and sleeping on the floor. Even more mind-boggling is that most of human history likely occurred before fire was deliberately used and controlled. Piss and B.O. also fire. Keeps the skeeters and predators away. Bet everyone's nose was constantly around campfire so their receptors eventually drowned it out and nobody smelled like campfire to anybody there. Explains our continued evolution. Campfire crotch smells better than dirty jungle crotch.